NATO's special forces, ready to confront Russian threats. NATO's special forces have been training and preparing for the possibility of a confrontation with Russia. The geopolitical tensions between Russia and NATO member countries have been increasing since the annexation of Crimea in 2014, and NATO has responded with increased military readiness and exercises. One of the key components of this readiness is the training and preparation of NATO's special forces. Special forces are a smaller and more specialized branch of military units that are trained to operate in high-risk situations where conventional forces may not be able to operate. They are designed to carry out a range of missions, from reconnaissance and intelligence gathering to counterterrorism and hostage rescue. NATO's special forces are trained in a variety of tactics, techniques, and procedures, and are equipped with the latest technology to carry out their mission. The Russian threat has been a particular concern for NATO's special forces, as Russia has been increasingly assertive in its foreign policy and military actions. Russia's involvement in the conflict in Ukraine and its annexation of Crimea have been seen as direct challenges to NATO's security, and there are concerns that Russia may attempt similar actions in other countries. To meet this threat, NATO's special forces have been training and equipping themselves for a range of potential scenarios. One of the key focuses of this training is on countering hybrid warfare, which refers to the use of a blend of conventional and non-conventional tactics by an adversary. Hybrid warfare can include cyber attacks, social media propaganda, and the use of non-state actors to carry out attacks. NATO's special forces are trained to identify and counter these tactics, as well as to operate in a range of environments, from urban settings to mountainous terrain. They are equipped with the latest technology, including drones and unmanned systems, which allow them to gather intelligence and carry out reconnaissance missions in a more effective way. Despite these preparations, there are concerns among some experts that NATO's special forces may not be able to stand up to a direct confrontation with Russia. Russia has a large and well-trained military, and some experts argue that NATO's military readiness is still not fully prepared to counter a potential Russian attack. In addition, there are concerns that the political will of NATO member countries may not be strong enough to support the use of force in a potential conflict with Russia. In recent years, there has been growing political polarization and populism in many NATO member countries, which may make it harder to build a consensus for military action. These concerns highlight the need for continued investment in NATO's military readiness, including its special forces. This investment should include increased training and preparation for a range of scenarios, as well as the development of new technologies and equipment that can help NATO respond to emerging threats. Overall, NATO's special forces are an important component of the alliance's military readiness. They are trained to operate in high-risk situations and are equipped with the latest technology to carry out their mission. While there are concerns about their readiness to counter a potential Russian threat, continued investment in their training and preparation can help ensure that they are prepared for whatever challenges may arise in the future.